Writing a short film can help you become a better screenwriter and get noticed. But shouldn't short films have a simpler structure than feature films? Inside an incident, first turning point, midpoint, low point, second turning point, climax and resolution. Can you and should you include all that in just a few minutes? To answer that question, we'll break down the structure of Piper, one of my favorite animated short films from Pixar Animation Studios. And stick around until the end because there's a dangerous mistake most beginners make and you should know about it. If you want to create an amazing animated short film, download our free step-by-step -step guide from the link in the description. To start with, Piper sets the scene by showing a flock of sandpiper birds scavenging for food on the shoreline and we meet Piper, our protagonist. Even from this brief introduction, we can see that Piper is timid, vulnerable and hesitant to leave the safety of her nest. These characteristics make her instantly likable. Mom flies away and invites Piper to join her. This is our inciting incident, or catalyst, an event that sets your story into motion, something that shakes the protagonist's ordinary life. Piper, like most great protagonists, initially resists this change and tries to stay within her comfort zone. But as we all know, in a good story, change is inevitable. And Piper is forced to confront her fears, her craving for food, pushes her to join the flock. This moment marks the first turning point, a point of no return where your protagonist lives their ordinary life. This moment is the passage from Act 1 to Act 2 and creates a central dramatic question. Can Piper learn to find food on her own? Piper struggles to search for her food but keeps trying. That's until a wave crashes down on her. This is the midpoint, a major event that sets the story on a new path. Piper goes back to the nest scared of the waves and convinced they are too strong for her. Piper has developed a false mentality, a lie. The water is dangerous and it should be feared. Piper is now deeply afraid of the waves and is terrified of leaving the nest. But she is starving, so she gains courage and ventures out again. Go Piper! A great storytelling role is that we admire characters for trying more than for their successes. We appreciate their commitment and it makes us root for them. Oh, by the way, I'm screenwriter Pietro Schito and this is Write for Animation. Subscribe if you want to become a professional animation storyteller. The world outside our comfort zone is a dangerous place, but it's where growth happens. She makes some new friends and notices how they bury themselves in the sand to avoid the waves. Another wave comes, but Piper is too slow. Everything is lost. This is the closest thing to a low point in this story, an all is lost moment in which your protagonist feels completely defeated. Before we get to Piper's exciting finale, let me offer you a chance to level up your storytelling skills. I've worked with top talents in the industry, including artists from Pixar, Netflix, DreamWorks, Disney and more, and I share everything I've learned in the Rife for Animation Academy our Patreon membership that connects you with like-minded storytellers and provides you with valuable insights into the craft. Head over to writeforanimation.com academy and join today. I'm excited to meet you in our next session. Back to Piper. While underwater, the little crab shows Piper the truth. The water is an ally to be embraced. It's beautiful and there's so much food. This is a breakthrough moment for her. Piper realized that the water isn't something to fear. This realization becomes her truth the core belief that drives her journey and ultimately leads her to fulfillment. With newfound confidence, Piper rushes to the second turning point of the story, a major twist that brings out new challenges or dilemmas. In the climax, the moment in the story where everything collides, Piper is running on the beach when a wave hits, but this time she's not scared anymore. She has realized that the water is not her enemy and fully embraced the truth. Finally comes the resolution, where the story comes to an end and the central dramatic question is answered. Yes, Piper was able to find food on her own without fearing the water. Now, before you rush away to put all this into action, let me warn you about a common major mistake that can lead you to end up with a formulaic story without a heart. Most beginners start exploring their story through structure. You can make the mistake of asking what's a cool inside an incident, what can I add to the midpoint, however this makes you forget what's most important in the story, your character's journey. But don't worry, this video guides you through this authentic approach in a very simple way. Click on it to keep learning. I'm Pietro and I'll see you there.